Oh shit, here we go. Outfit number one. What I did was I paired a smiley face bodysuit with a light pink pencil skirt and a black belt. Now the reason I picked a light pink pencil skirt instead of say a black one is in real life it didn't show up that well on camera, but you can actually see his smile through the pencil skirt, which then it looks less like there's just two black dots on your boobs and it actually looks like you have a smiley face suit on. So that's why I did that and then I paired it with a bunch of gold accessories because it kind of matches the yellow that we got going on here. But this is down to personal preference really, I'm just showing you the, showing you the kind of style I like, but you can feel free to disagree. Alright, outfit number two is a bit more normal, it is a poncho actually. It is navy gray and a light gold color and I just paired it with a simple pair of gray leggings and a plain black tank top and I think it looks really good together personally especially for like those lazy days but when you still want to feel cute you know and then if you happen to have a purse that matches the gold on the poncho it looks really good together I think so anyways but yeah this is a very good go-to look now the next look, I know I'm not the only girl who has this problem, I will see a super cute muscle tank top like this, but because it's a muscle tank top, it's not as feminine as I want it to be, and one of my si sisters bleh, actually told me this, is if you pair a muscle shirt with a blazer, any color, I have two to show you, it softens it, like it makes it look more feminine, as you can see here, like this looks freaking adorable, I think, I love the way this looks. And now I'm just going to show you a bunch of different uh, muscle shirts paired with different colored blazers just so you can kind of see what you can do with it. So enjoy! Alright, now the next look I'm going to show you how to rock very colorful leggings. Now what I do is I pick one of the colors on the leggings and match it with my upper half. Like here I paired it with a simple black tank top and then I matched the blue in my sweater to the dark blue on the bottom. And now I'm going to show you in this next outfit how I paired it with the light blue blazer and the light blue on my leggings. Uh, you could also do black or white or if there's another accent color you could pick that. The key to rocking like crazy ass leggings is to keep the top simple. You've already decided that the bottom half is what's going to be your showpiece. So you just want your top to accent the bottom. You don't want it to overpower it because then you just look like a train wreck girl. Um, and now I'm going to show you a close up of the leggings because they're to die for like OMG. And then I paired it with this cat necklace because this necklace actually reminds me of the cat goddess necklace that Simone from Scooby Doo on Zombie Island wears which is my absolute favorite movie. Yes, I don't give a fuck. I bought it anyways. This is also another way to rock colorful, or not colorful, but crazy leggings. I've gotten so many compliments on these leggings, it's actually crazy bananas. But anyways, I'm just rocking it with a simple crop top that says punk because I feel like with the bone leggings, it's kind of a punky look anyways. And then I just paired it with a colorful blazer just to kind of lighten it up and not make it look so like dark and evil, but so it's kind of like a punk meets pretty kind of look, I think. But this is the last look, so I hope you enjoyed it, guys.